what's up you checking out the frequent flyer and i'm out here with the snap team s5c i did a video on this a while back and some people purchased this and they were unable to get this thing started they were unable to arm it and all and get the altitude hold working and everything the altitude hold works automatically but sometimes it just doesn't take off uh, like the props won't spin up and that happened to me before uh, it's not really a problem what it is is the accelerometer and gyro just needs to be reset so you can recalibrate that with the transmitter here so I'm just going to show you guys how to do that so let's bring this thing over to a flat surface Okay. We're going to turn on the S5C, the lights are flashing, then we're going to turn on the transmitter by holding this button down. Now we're going to go up and down on this left stick and that binds the transmitter to the drone and now if it doesn't take off what you're going to have to do is recalibrate the uh, gyro and the accelerometer. So we're gonna go both sticks to the lower right first. Check it out. Those lights should flash and stop once it's level. And then we're gonna go both sticks to the lower left. Check it out. And we have the same thing. So now it should take off no problem if we hit this button here, which is the auto takeoff, auto landing button or we can hold both sticks to the lower outside corners. So let's try that to get the props to spin up. And then we can just push up on the left stick to take off. So check it out, altitude hold works on its own. See, I'm not controlling its height. It's drifting away a little because of the wind. It's a light breeze out here, but as far as the height, it holds its height pretty well. Holds the height pretty well, but just drifts around a little. And so, that's it. Right now, I'm about to get into this night flight with you. Pretty easy drone to fly with this altitude hold on. Don't have to worry about the throttle management. Range is pretty decent. <laughs> Not a lot of pitch on it. Not enough to do um, really tight funnels anyhow, but the pitch gets deeper when you're flying straight forward though. You guys can see that. It's pretty fast. I'm on the highest rate. Bring it in a little closer. Check out the yaw. Let me show y'all the yaw again. For those who haven't seen this one before, that's the yaw. It's drifting on me now. So let's bring it back down, land it, and see if we can uh, recalibrate the accelerometer. So again, both sticks to the lower right. I'm gonna do the lower left as well. So it should be level now. So there we go, it's not 
drifting on me too much now. Okay, so let me show y'all the yaw now. This is the yaw on its highest rate. This is the lowest rate yaw. So not bad. Second rate. Third rate. So it definitely gets faster with each rate. How about this fence right here, guys? Actually, let's talk about this fence. I told uh, some of you guys wanted to know what happened to the fence because the fence, I came out here one day and the fence was knocked down. There were two trucks crashed and rammed into each other, two pickup trucks. And so I got the scoop from one of the workers that work here. And he told me that two little kids a 13 year old being the oldest and the other two were nine and i think seven i'm not sure though not 100 percent sure but i know he said that the oldest guy the oldest kid was 13 years old and they were in there uh driving the trucks around and stuff they snuck in there a lot of times that gate is open as it is now it's about one o'clock in the morning <laughs> for those who keep wondering and this gate is still open and so the little kids snuck in there and they got into the vehicles and just started driving them around and they were having well it's all on camera the guy was telling me and he said he had them on camera uh just playing crash derby with those things <laughs> with the chucks and then i guess one of them decides that they're gonna leave out of the gate Actually, I think the gate was closed because um, they ran through, they rammed the front gate. So the gate must have been closed. I think they climbed over the fence and uh, they both got into one of the uh, pickup trucks. Well, the dump trucks, they're actually dump trucks. <laughs> so they were playing crash derby with the dump trucks and then they decide to both get into one dump truck together and they straight ram the gate grand theft auto style knock the gate clean off <laughs> and went out on the boulevard and decided to make a u-turn in the middle of traffic at the boulevard and that's when they were spotted by the cops and the cops followed them back to this yard here and that's why the, the pickup well, the dump trucks ended up uh, colliding together at the entrance there because they forgot, I guess, that they left the one dump truck at the entrance there and they rammed it again and jumped out and ran. One of them got, well, I guess all of them got caught eventually, but supposedly the 13-year-old got caught and the other little kids were running around uh, I guess they didn't have anywhere to go. The oldest kid was from New Jersey. <laughs> Pretty wild story. But anyhow, that's what happened to the fence. And I guess it's kind of a good thing because now we have this new fence here. The fence is taller. They have barbed wires on the top of the fence so nobody climbs over the fence has been moved out uh, more towards me here so it shouldn't uh, have all of that trash and everything gathered up there so I guess it's a good thing and so we're out of battery now I got this thing flashing Ready to come in for a landing. 
So let's land it. I'm gonna try to do a, a grab. So that's it. A quick demo of the Snaptain S5C. Hopefully you guys know how to recalibrate the gyro and the accelerometer and get this thing back in the air. The Snaptain S5C. Thanks for watching.